to the vlog. Um, joining me now on my first session uh, where we can fish nights. So first week of April. Um, joining me for 48 hours on Hawcott, which is on the Cotswold Water Park. Um, it's fairly busy. Just had one show, it's a good sign. Um, yeah, it's fairly busy. There's a few pegs I could have chose from, so I'll run you through my swim choice uh, shortly. But I'm gonna get the gear unloaded, get my house set up, and then, uh, then we'll have a catch up. Bloody freezing. I've got head on wind, northwesterly uh, wind, and it's coming sort of straight into this swim. Now, I favored this swim because it's it's only just been dug out. It's a new swim, and it is along one of the far margins. It doesn't get a lot of action. Now, the center of the lake is being hammered at the moment. Um, it's very busy over there, and I was glad I could jump in this swim. So my feeling is, or my, my approach is, I'm gonna, find a couple of spots just along this tree line. I'm not going out too far, just an underarm flick because there everyone else is hammering it out, sort of center of the lake. So I want to be doing something different. Now, I don't want to go plowing in the bait. It's still cold. It's only the first week of April. Um, so I'm just going to put just a couple of spots out and then have one at the right hand side of the margin, one at the left and then I'm probably going to stick a zig out into open water just because uh, I've got a lot of water in front of me so I might as well make the most of it. So let's get these flicked out and uh, see how it goes. Right, so my first rig's ready to go out. I've got a lot of sweet corn in my mix so what I'm doing is with two 12 mil pop-ups, um, a yellow and a pink. Now the pink one is actually orange because it's been soaking in goo for about, I don't know, about a month. Now that's on a, a Ronnie rig. It's nice and firm out there. I want my bait just to sit up slightly above the rest so uh, it's bright and proud. And then down to a leg clip system. Now I always use rig tubing, sort of tungsten tubing. A lot of the lakes I have, uh, well, a lot of lakes I fish have leader bands, so I just go tubing every time now. So let's test this one in the margin, make sure that comes down nice and slowly, and then uh, that'll be sat up right fishing. So I've got two rods down the margin. My third rod is gonna be out into open water. I don't know if you can probably tell, tell on my face, but the uh, the sun's coming up now. It's about nine, nine o'clock, I think, half nine. Um, and we're due a bit of a sunny spell between, I think, 12 and three, maybe, maybe 11 and three. So I'm gonna put a four foot fixed zig out. Just wanted to show you. I don't know if you've seen these, but this is the Nash zig kit. Now, great bit of kit. It's a kicker, effectively with a molded in screw, like a bait screw. So put your kicker on, thread the, uh, thread the foam onto the back, and away you go. So like I say, that's about four foot. I've got a, a long um, tail rubber on there, or kicker. Not kicker, sorry, a tail rubber. Um, just with a run loop. So I'm gonna put a bit of black foam on there. It's been doing well on this lake recently. It's done a number of 30s actually on uh, just on single black foam, so it'd be stupid not to try it, wouldn't I? Let's get it flicked out. Well, we're today two. It's midday, half well, half eleven. It is cold. That wind has been beating in all night and all morning. It's very bitter. Um, so, hard to get out of bed this morning. I spoke to the bailiff yesterday. He's had a walk around, had a bit of a chat. Nothing's come out on the whole lake. It's kind of, the lake's gone into lockdown, you could say. Um, it's probably the amount of pressure. Every peg is now full. Um, a lot of anglers. Change my tactics. So 
had two margins, one out on zig. I found a gravel bar out there. So around about, I don't know, the size of a car and nice hard patch. So I'm told on this lake, if you find a hard patch, definitely fish on it. And put a couple of spots over, got a few boilies, sweet corn, uh, mix in with some powder and uh, I think it's krill, cloudy mix, um, or stirred in. So put about five, five swamps of that out. Got one rod out there and then I've got a zig right next to it as well. Cut a foot off. So hopefully that might draw some attention. I've still got this margin rod right behind you. Gonna keep that one out there. Had a drop back on that last night. One, two beeps, but nothing developed. By the time I got out of bed, it was all over. So left that one out. I've checked the bait this morning. Absolutely fine, so flicked it back out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wait it out for a bit longer. Right, I've come to the end of my session now. That's three nights on the bank, and all I had was one loss to the Zig, which is very unfortunate. It's been a really tough weekend. Um, guy over on the point swim, he had a couple of runs one night, but unfortunately he lost all three. Um, I've only seen maybe one, two come out of the whole lake, so it's been really tough going. Um, I've got a 12 month ticket on this venue now though, so I'm gonna be spending the next months coming up, tackling this venue and getting some of these lovely carp up for the camera. Right, check out some of the other videos guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.